Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All right, joining us on the phone right now, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas, who is going to tell us about an event that's coming up. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? How was your weekend? My weekend was spectacular. Oh, that's good. Spectacular right. is a good word to use. I'd like I like when people answer with a word you don't expect. Yeah. You know, how was your weekend? <laughs> Fine. You're good. Yeah, Fine. good. But yeah. spectacular. I like that, Laura. Even though yeah. we had a rainy yes, Saturday. A, Go ahead. Yeah, we had a gala at the college uh, oh, yeah. called Jeans and Jazz. Oh. And uh, so it was really fun to see people coming out in their jeans and listening huh. to music and having a great time to support the college. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well attended. Very well attended. Good. Yep. Good. Well, there's another event coming up on April 9th. It's the Mosaic event co-hosted by Bristol Community College and One South Coast Chamber. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I'd love to. So what it is, is it's a, an afternoon or an evening of multicultural celebration and learning. And it's for our area business leaders and their employees from all backgrounds uh, to come together to learn about what makes our community very special, our cultural tapestry, so to speak. So it will be held on uh, Tuesday, April 9th from 4 to 7 in our uh, Sprague Health and Science building on the Fall River campus at Bristol Community College. It's free, and it's it's not just for chamber members. It's also for people in our community, non-chamber members, and we really hope to see a great turnout for folks to learn a little bit more about what it is to be a multicultural organization or company today. That sounds great. And uh, you said it was Tuesday, April 9th? That's right. And it's going to start at 4 o'clock with a panel discussion. Uh, We have a number of leaders here in the South Coast who are going to be talking about the business imperative of diversity and inclusion in the workplace, right? We're all trying to become a little bit more diverse and to understand how to support our employees from different backgrounds. Um, And then after the panel, uh, where they're going to hopefully provide our business leaders and and, um, uh, associates uh, into what it means to really create that diverse uh, organization. We're going to have a reception uh, and uh, light refreshments, and uh, then uh, we'll have raffle prizes and just a great time um, to network. So uh, before I forget, you need to, if you want to go, you need to register www.onesouthcoast.com, and it's called Mosaic. And is that spelled out O-N-E, or is it the number one South Coast? O-N-E. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. That sounds like it's going to be a great event and uh, just as well attended as the fantastic event that just happened this weekend, Laura. Jeans and jazz. I like I that. Think, yeah, I think it will be even bigger, and uh, we hope that this will become an annual event of celebration as we work to really make mm. the South Coast as inclusive as possible. I have a prediction, Laura. The next time that we talk to you, we're going to ask you how the event went on April 9th, and you're going to say spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> Now, now you are uh, you are also working towards retirement, if memory serves me correct. How's uh, how's everything going towards that big transition? Oh yes. Uh, well, you know, it takes a long time to plan for a transition for a new leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, our the board is doing a wonderful job putting the pieces in place. Uh, we're currently looking for a certain firm uh, to lead the process. That's what we do in this business to make sure we bring in a great variety of candidates and that they're properly vetted. And, you know, it's a great time for Bristol Community College. It's a great time to bring in uh, an outstanding leader uh, to take us to the next level. And it's a, it's, it's an exciting place for the, the college right now. We just opened the National Offshore Wind Institute. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really growing and supporting this community in, in ways we never thought possible. Super. You know, Laura, though, it's not it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they tell me. It's not too late to change my mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Laura. We appreciate your time today. Have a great one. You Bye-bye. As well.